Okay, so we went over the new customer intake forms in a previous video. And so just to recap real quick, you can set uh, customer intake uh, forms. So you can mark off things like damage to a vehicle, if there's any add-ons, the add-ons with the pricing, and then you can view the intake form. Um, so the finalized intake form looks like this, and it'll show there's a few sections. Uh, so first it says the date, uh, the customer intake for whatever vehicle they were in for that appointment. And this is per appointment, by the way, not just per customer. It's for every appointment you can do this. Uh, so the first thing is damage form, and you go through and you check off what areas had damage, and then you can make notes as well. Um, and then the second section is, you know, uh, the add-ons. So while you're going through the walk on walk around with the customer, you can, you know, pitch them on different things like headlight restoration, bug removal, paint correction, ceramic coating, chip fix, so on and so forth. Uh, you can, it'll show up here, whatever they selected. You can make these prices higher so that you can say, hey, listen, if you get all this done today, I can give you a discount. And you put in the discount, whatever it happens to be, add any notes, and then the customer signs, right? So this is what a finalized form looks like. Uh, just to show you quickly, in case you haven't seen the other video, uh, doing a new intake form, it shows up under your uh, appointment. So whatever appointment, so for this uh, customer here, new intake form, we would click that. And then we simply check off areas where there's, you know, issue like chip or crack in the windshield, stuff like that. That way it protects you and the customer knows like, okay, we did the walk around. They've, you know, checked for all the damage and stuff. So if they come back and say like, hey, you know, there was a chip, you made a chip in my windshield. It's like, no, I didn't. We went through, did the walkthrough and we noticed that together, you know, so it's right there. Um, and then you can do add-ons as well. So headlight restoration, let's say they do both sides. Uh, they also want paint correction. So you can make these prices really high. That way it seems like, okay, listen, like you're, you're about to spend a lot of money. Like, look, this is an extra $209 on top of your thing or whatever price you set it at and be like, listen, but if you get it done today, I can apply a hundred dollar discount. So you're only spending a hundred and nine, right? And then, uh, you get them to basically sign when they're, they're all said and done, you know? Um, so this is designed for tablets and then you would just hit save job. So it's best to use it on a tablet. We use it at our shop with tablets. Um, and so that you do a quick walk around with the customer with the tablet. Uh, but you can do this on a desktop and stuff as well. It's just it's it's better uh, on a tablet in most cases. Here we'll cancel this. We'll go back. Um, so where do you set those prices? So if you go under admin and then settings and options. Um, so here's where you can enable and disable different things as well as set different prices uh, for those particular add-ons. So all the way down at the bottom. So page loaded settings. I went all the way down to the bottom. Customer intake forms. You click that and you're going to see all the different add-ons like headlight restoration and you can just enter in a new price for each of these items that you want uh, by default these all have no price um, this is what we have you know set for the demo account here uh, but you can set whatever prices you want and then uh, if you don't offer something like uh, for example not a lot of guys offer chip fix for windshields uh, we do at our shop, but you might not offer it. You can just simply disable that and then uh, just make sure that when you do your changes, you click save changes and then you're good to go and it'll save all the pricing that you put. So you can save everything at once. So you can put, you know, like 59, you know, 69, 79, 35, like whatever you want. You can disable a bunch of stuff. You can do all that at one shot and then just click save and it'll save all your changes for you. And then that those new values will show up uh, on the new forms. It won't change anything that was already done. So let's say you did the walk around with this customer, for example, and you have an intake form um, and you change those prices. It's not going to change what you've already done with the customer because obviously you already sealed the deal with the customer and they signed it, you know, so you're not going to be able to undo that, of course, but uh, it'll change future intake forms that you do. Um, so yeah, you could change those prices seasonally or whatever you want and then, uh, you know, figure out how it works for your business, but super, super powerful tool guys. Uh, so that's how you change the pricing on it. Check out the other video for the full in-depth walkthrough of how to, you know, set the customer intake forms, how to use them and, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, cool. Good luck. All right. Talk to you soon.